Hello and welcome to MasterCard Girls for Tech. I'm Jill de Villiers. Today we're putting the spotlight on the Girls for Tech program, which is focused on encouraging girls to enter the STEM field and become leaders of tomorrow. We're talking big data, encryption, fraud detection, biometrics, and much more. Joining me now to discuss this and tell us more about the program is Ebihiji Momo, Country Manager and Area Business Head, West Africa for MasterCard. Ebihiji, welcome. Thanks for joining us. Thank you so much. Great to be here. Thank you for having me. Great to have you here. So let's start off with the Girls for Tech and tell me when was it launched and why? Okay, so the Guest for Tech uh, is a MasterCard award-winning signature education program that is aimed at inspiring and preparing young girls between the age of 8 to 12 for careers in science and technology. And so based on the global science and math standards, the curriculum was created in conjunction with MasterCard top engineers and technologists to teach the foundation of STEM, that is the science, technology, uh, engineering, and math through fun, engaging curriculum. So that is Guess for Tech, uh, that's Guess for Tech. Ebihiji, please tell me about the workshop that you offered um, on the 11th of March and what okay. is uh, what, what the girls experienced then and what other workshops you have coming up this month. Okay, so on the 11th of March, we have the Girls for Tech uh, in partnership with Junior Achievers Nigeria, the Guess for Tech Connect program we actually hosted one as a webinar. And because of the social distances and all, we're able to host this as, as a webinar. And we will have another one taking place on the 18th of March and then on the 25th of March. It, the workshop was a, a very great and a very exciting one for the, the students, and especially I'm talking about the girls between the age of eight and 12. During the workshop, uh, girls' visit stations, uh, I mean, during the workshop, the topics like uh, algorithm, cryptology and digital convergence, engaging in inquiring activities were discussed. For example, how do you, we're looking at the digital convergence of money through the years, showing students coded messages to spark discussions among the, uh, the, the reasons for encryption or enabling learners to come up with a set of algorithms in order to finish tasks more efficiently and effectively. So those, those were the things we, we did. And just to let you know, MasterCard employees serve as the mentors and the role model. And they also guide the participants through the exercise, which was really exciting. That's what we did on the 11th of March, uh, 2020, as part of the, um, the, uh, the Global International Women's Day. We will have another one on the 18th and then the 25th of March. May I ask you something else about this? And you say MasterCard uh, personnel, staff and uh, employees work with uh, as mentors. Does this continue after the workshop or is it just during the workshop? Oh, this is during the workshop. Mm -hmm. That's, we do this during the workshop uh, as, as uh, mentors and uh, role models mm -hmm. to guide the participant through the exercise. Yeah. And, and as you say, exercises, are they very, very practical exercises? Very practical, very mm -hmm. practical. Ones that the girls can, uh, can sort of uh, uh, understand and are able to practicalize in such a way that it dawns on them on what is really happening in science, technology, uh, engineering, and math. They were very practical ones. Mm, sounds very exciting. Yeah. Yes. And yeah. I, I just to let you know that because of the social distancing, the, 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 the girls for tech, uh, in partnership with Solastic, through a suite of new online creative educational resources, what we actually do, we launch the website Girls for Tech Connect. And this will now enable teachers, parents who can download lessons to help their students learn about STEM topics from the comfort of their home. So that's one of the plus things, even though the pandemic had come and there are some negative things, but there are some opportunity that this has thrown up for us. I just wanted to, to mention that as well. That is amazing. It's, it's, it's uh, interesting how much this COVID thing has changed. The, the world of work for us in the world of communication and how yeah. we can reach more people now than we did before through through the internet and through uh, through these connections. Um, tell me as well that how many people, this is a very global um, thing for MasterCard World for Tech, Girls for Tech, how many girls have you reached so far uh, globally sure. for MasterCard and then also tell me about West Africa in particular. 
Okay. So globally, we've done about a million uh, girls since the last uh, uh, three to four years that we started in actually 2014. We've reached about a, um, one million girls throughout. But the interesting thing is that during this period of the, the during the summit, 180 girls have gone to the series of webinars only this year alone. 180 girls, series of webinars over three days. We have done 11 uh, and then the 18th, then we have another one we're gonna have on the 18th and the 25th of March. But globally, 1 million girls, young girls around the world have been impacted. Hmm. And uh, MasterCard aims to reach 5 million girls by 2025. How do you feel yes. about that? Is that, is that a very ambitious target? It's, it, well, because of what we have been able to do in the last couple of years, I wouldn't say it is ambitious. And then now with the word of, you know, being able to be connected, look at what has happened after the, uh, the, the COVID pandemic, I think it's really achievable and that we are going to deliver in that 5 million in, by 2025. So let's talk a little bit about the importance of STEM and this age group, the 8 to 12 age group in, in Africa and in West Africa. How have standards changed in the last few years? Okay, so within the, for this particular age group, let's even look at how the, the, the program has been designed. Now, this program is designed for girls, and what we are referring for, to girls, just like you said, is between 8 and 2 years old. So what will it do? It will drive, first of all, inclusion and equality, bridging the gender gap that currently exists within STEM. You, know, you notice how when it comes to science, technology, uh, engineering, and math career, the girls usually shy away from it. So with this kind of program, if you ask me, this will be able to bridge that gender gap that currently exists within this core subject that I just talked about, which is science, technology, engineering, and math career. Now, within the next decade, 80% of global jobs, if you look at it, will require some combination of stamps. That is, they will require some science, they will require some technology, some engineering and math. So today's job in stamps are already the most sought after in the job market in Sub-Saharan Africa. So with this, our vision is to provide women with an equal playing field going forward. Additional, uh, additional education and motivation to pursue the STEM subject that is required for the future. Mm. And do you think that girls, now that they are being invited to be involved more in the STEM areas, that they are showing more interest in it? Oh yes, absolutely. Because what happens is that the inspiration, we're able to inspire young girls. And you know what happens when you inspire? The STEM skill that will help them become leaders of tomorrow and help them to enter into the tech world. Based on the feedback that we have seen with all the uh, training that we have done, they're excited about it. And I can see that moving into breaking in, especially in Sub-Saharan Africa, we can see more girls being interested because it's like understanding, you know, the fear of what is really STEM, can I do it, that girls have, uh, you know, they have th those fear. This STEM, uh, this girls for track, we break those barriers and make women more confident and then they can look forward to, you know, doing soft subjects. And you, you, you heard what I said earlier, we have done one million. Imagine by the time we have, by 2025, we have five million all across the globe. That is breaking those barriers that exist currently. Thank you very much for joining us, Ebehiji. And that was Ebehiji Momo, Country Manager and Area Business Head MasterCard West Africa. And looking at this kind of encouragement, I will not be surprised if we have more girls entering the fields of STEM to become leaders of tomorrow. Looking forward to that. Bye-bye.